Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back. So today we are going to give you the review of the Orange Crush 20RT. Uh, this is an amp that I rented from Long McQuaid in thoughts of possibly buying it if it turns out. Because I do want a separate amp uh, for my students, but also something fun for me too when they're not here. Um, this does have a built-in tuner, which actually is really super accurate. Um, and it does have reverb, of course, clean and dirty channels that are independent of each other completely. Uh, so for your dirty, you've got dirty knob and gain, of course, and then bass, mid, and treble are shared between both channels. For your clean channel, you have one control knob, and that is it, and uh, that's pretty cool. Um, it also has foot switch capability, so if you want to hook a foot switch into this to swap on the floor between clean and dirty. You've got that ability. Um, that is pretty much about it other than a headphone jack and an auxiliary in to jam along with your stuff. And uh, the reverb can get really lush on this thing. At least that's the description people use for it. But uh, I'm going to use my Court uh, X2 guitar today. It's got two humbuckers in it. and. Uh, we're going to go through and just jam around on some chords, play some stuff, give you an idea what this thing sounds like. And then we're going to talk about it. Now, the volume right now is only at about 8 o'clock. volume is the bass mid and treble are all at 12 and uh, I'm just going to hit a chord and we'll go through and see what kind of range they have. does have a fair amount of range to them so little adjustments are going to make a big difference depending on uh, whether or not you're running pedals through this or you're just running it just by itself um, you're going to find that it's going to be a lot more sensitive probably on the dirty channel which we'll check that as well um, the reverb is uh, at uh, 11 o'clock so let's just crank the reverb right to the to the hilt guitar here because it's been a while since I touched this guitar. That seems alright. 
just one was out a little bit. But, uh, all right, so let's try uh, 10 o'clock. it starts to break up and it's got a really nice natural break up so let's put that back at two o'clock and let's play a couple of bluesy riffs here Dirty up to three o'clock and slowly bring the gain up. So the gain's at eleven, no, ten o'clock. That's nicer. Bring the gain to 11. <laughs> 
go to one o'clock. Back to the bridge. <laughs> crunch tone because that, that's horrifying when you go the opposite way so if we go back the other way and we turn the gain up to half demo video on this. 
um, where I did the main demo, no review. I want to do a little bit more of a demo for you guys now that I've also been more acquainted with the amp. Figured out how to make that sound that I prefer because that over fuzziness that you can dial in is just horrifying. It almost makes it sound like the speaker is like destroyed when it's not, eh? And uh, so it's kind of like, well, we got to clean this up so we get it punchy and crunchy, you know? And uh, yeah, definitely you dial things in and you can get a lot of tones. Now, I was messing with bass mid and treble on the Dirty Channel too, like I said I would. Um, I think overall, I mean, this amp sells for about 260 bucks, brand new. Um, this was one that's a rental, so if I do want to buy it, I'll uh, have to find out what the price is. Because, you know, you can buy used gear or rented gear for a couple bucks less. But um, I'm going to talk to them about it anyways, because <coughs> it is a nice little practice amp. It has got a lot of snot in it, you know, like for 20 watts, and it's a closed cabinet as well. Um, I don't think I showed the back end of this amp, uh, but there's the back end. So all you've got is your foot switch, your power in, power switch, um, and of course your other top controls up here, you know. It's uh, got an 8 inch speaker in it, uh, voiced really well, um, and for something with a sealed cab, this thing really puts out nice, like it's got a good clean sound. Um, it doesn't really start to break up until after 1 o'clock on the clean channel, uh, which is good so you can get a lot of output still staying with a clean tone. Um, the built-in tuner is great and the built-in tuner is very accurate. I've watched a number of videos between, uh, well there's not much actually on the RT20, but there was a lot on the 12 watt version. But even what I did see on the RT20 um, and the others, a lot of people think that the tuner is really not that hot when really, um, I mean, my tuner I use for my guitars is actually this Red Snark, okay? And it's a really super fast and super accurate version of the Snark tuners. Uh, it's got the latest software in it, etc., and it is really accurate. Um, and I've compared it to the tuner built into this. And they are dead spot on with each other. So anybody who doesn't like the built-in tuner, I have no idea what their issue really is with it. But uh, I've even just tuned a guitar just with that tuner and then backwards against the snark and it's fine. So I don't know what the issue is that people have other than the fact it's a built-in tuner and some people don't like that. You know, where other people do like having a built-in tuner. Um, but uh, anyhow... Uh, Overall, I would have to really definitely say that this is an amp that's worth getting if this is what you're after, right? Um, it's not very big in size. It is an 8 inch speaker. It's 20 watts of power, which is quite loud and quite clean. Even when you dial in on the dirty channel like I did where it was nice, clean, dirty, not that over distorted dirty, that's a really nice, dirty tone. Uh, so once you dial stuff in, it, it's awesome. And the built-in reverb is a huge bonus because even the 12 watt does not have a reverb in it. Which was one thing that kind of turned me off about the 12, other than the fact it's a 6 inch speaker. And it didn't sound quite as good as this one. You know, this one sounded way better. And um, so I had left that music store, went back to Long and McQuaid, and I said, you know what? bring me in one of the rental units to try out and you know if I like it you know I'll likely buy it um, and uh, I really think it's worth the buy and you know just having it here just for the students to, to bang the daylights out of and even me once in a while like I primarily have my boss amp now and uh, I've got a, an amp I use for gigging but I'm not you know letting students plug into my my gigging amp and I need my boss amp either way for when my students are here so I figured this is a good way. Now I still have my PV Edition 20 that, that, that the kids can plug into but you know I want you know them to be able to experience a really good sound too which um, this thing far surpasses the Edition 20 even though I got a 12 inch speaker on the 20 now this thing far surpasses it and uh, much better you know and uh, I could even take this to portable events if I wanted to um, you know, where I have plug-in and I don't need a battery-powered amp if I wanted to, I could do that. 
Um, I could use it as a separate amp and just use my trainer amp as a um, as just a microphone setup, and maybe even plug somebody's somebody else's instrument into it or whatever type of thing. You know, it does actually save having you know pile of mixing equipment with you, but um, I do like it. I I really I really do like it. I'm definitely going to consider it uh, very seriously. Uh, I still have this thing for a couple of weeks. And I'm going to play with, play with it some more, and I'm going to go through it on all of my guitars and see, you know, how many of my guitars sound just as good as that court. And that court, by the way, has a set of, four, uh, what is it, $12 um, Zebra pickups in it. Like, not kidding, 12 bucks. I got them from China, from Banggood, and they're supposed to be like a vintage uh, Zebra pickup, kind of like a Les Paul pickup. And uh, they are really nice, even on my Catania amp. Those pickups are just awesome. Um, you know, so not bad for 12 bucks. And uh, they sound great even on this amp, so that's very impressive. Um, so quite happy with that, and it's loaded with a lot of good features. I mean, the only thing it doesn't have is a cab out, but, you know, um, a lot of people are modding cab outs onto their amps. Mind you, when you do that, you do void your warranty, um, if you're going to do that sort of thing. Um, but uh, I think even just as it is, I think it's pretty cool. So now, as far as playing along with a band goes, I see no reason why this thing cannot work for you in that capacity. Um, I primarily play in church a lot, and uh, we have a drummer that's on acoustic drums. We got our bass player that's got like a 400 watt amp. Um, of course, then there's me either on an electric or an acoustic guitar, depending on you know what's going on with the music at that point. Um, because I do bring my pedal board and my Les Paul in, and uh, but sometimes I just play the acoustic. But I could plug into this thing um, with my electric if I wanted to, and not go through the PA system, and I could still get over top of our drummer without even thinking about it. And I know I've done it too in the past. Um, back in the 80s, I have, of course, the Edition 20 amp with its stock 8-inch speaker and its own cab, and so did our lead guitarist, same amp. And we had no problem getting over top of the drummer you know, I mean, and we were like in a much, uh, I think our space was, um, well, it was double the size of this, you know, and this is 10 by uh, 11, this room, so double that, uh, at least, if not slightly bigger, and we had no problem even with all of us in there, and we still got over the drummer, uh, and that was with like, you know, what, 12 watts, I think, the Edition 20 puts out, and this is 20, you know, so that's, that's quite a bit, you know, difference. So, uh, now I wouldn't suggest playing out in the park with something like this unless you were going to mic it up. It just doesn't have the power to get out there in a big park in a big, huge area, you know, but definitely in your church it'll be great. Um, smaller venues definitely can use it. Um, now, the other thing was, one of the guys at Long McQuaid asked me, he says, you're going to plug an acoustic guitar in it, you know, when you do the video, and I thought, you know what, you got a really great idea. Um, now, I've talked to Orange before in the past, as well as Hughes and Kettner, and uh, they both say that as long as you do not turn the volume level up too high, you can actually get away with um, doing this, okay? And uh, you won't hurt the amp or your equipment. So, let's give it a spin. guys. So, um, I give this an easy four and a half out of five. Definitely a great buy. Check out Long and McQuaid online or go into the, one of their local stores if you're in Canada. Um, hey, Amazon has these things if you're not in Canada. So does many other music stores all around the world. So do check one out and uh, for yourself and if you like it, hey, buy it because I think it's a great buy and it's a great little practice amp too. You know, and it can get really quiet or it can get really obnoxious. So anyhow, thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you on the next one. Ciao.